This is Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. So, since the uh, end of the last Let's Play, I just went through and activated a few more of the quests, um, by which I mean I set them as active uh, on my map. Didn't actually accept any new quests. So, we're going to go and start down the path of changing our uh, our companion to Zargo for a companion that we get uh, throughout the Dawn Card uh, series of quests. So, to do that, we're going to head way over to Broken Helm Hollow. And so we'll fast travel back to just outside of Riften. There's that hammer in sleep mode again. Rather scary looking hammer. And we are heading eastwards, roughly speaking. What is it? East and, uh, and a bit south. There's a cave that's east and a bit south. Is this actually the right direction? Yeah, it is. Um, hmm. So I hope it's the right direction. For some reason, I'm not getting a, uh, a marker on my compass for it. Swap to my new glass bow. Which doesn't look all that glassy. Well, in any case. Am I still... Yeah. Well, one of the problems with the game is that if you take... If you have too many quests marked active, then not all of them get quest markers. And by turning on so many of the quests, I might have put myself in that uh, that mode now. Huh? Where is the cave entrance? I guess it's somewhere on top of this. Oh, and there's a person, a Kajit, who fell down. Well, I will take his coin purse. And then I will attempt to scale this and avoid suffering his fate. Let's see. And there's some there are some people up there who do not like me. Looks like they are bandits. Well, we will be seeing them soon. Shoot. Okay. Ow. Oh, well. Fortunately, they're not using a very nice bow or very nice arrows, so... Uh, let's see. Oh, and Jusargo might just wipe them out for me. Unfortunately, finding their bodies in this kind of... Uh, busy environment might not be the easiest thing in the world. Actually, Jazargo might not be that bad of a companion. He seems a bit more effective than I remember him at uh, wiping out foes. 
So is this actually where we want to be? Well, there's a skull over there. Broken Helm Hollow. Let's check our map. No, this is where a moon amulet is, which I think was a task for the Kashi. But let's take care of that while we're here. And maybe we can... Uh, Maybe we'll still have time to help the, uh, or to, to deal with the vampires after this. Okay. Oh, there is a sleeping foe. Well. Yes, he will not be finishing waking up. Okay. Well, that worked out pretty well. Although, I really am kind of grumbly at this point that... I have not found any really nice food enchantment. Whoa! Okay. And there's the bandit chief. Let's light up the area because I can't really see what's going on here. Okay, there goes the bandit chief, and he is dropping some very nice heavy steel plate armor. Cool. <clears throat> so I try not to think too much about how much machinery is going to be needed hidden away in here to actually uh, lift and drop um, such heavy uh, cave walls. Because presumably there's something like an elevator room hidden behind uh, each of these uh, each of these, these things, but that's kind of ridiculous. Conundrum more! Huzzah! was I doing in here? Okay, so north and a little bit east is that amulet that we wanted to help the Khajiit find. Uh, maybe it's up here. And this gigantic chest looks like a candidate. Unfortunately... Oh, nice! Dragon plate armor is uh, the best uh, or the best heavy armor in the game. And I backed off just in time. I like that that, uh, that thing was pa uh, patient enough to wait until I take everything out of the chest before it took a swing at me. It is good to know that the traps have gone to etiquette school. So if I, if I were to decide that Jusargo is going to stick around um, with me, then I probably would um, would give him uh, this armor. Because I'm not going to wear it myself because it's heavy armor. Did I? But it is nice enough that it would offer him some pretty uh, hefty protection. Now ordinarily, those clinky uh, 
Things still alarm any uh, any critters in the area that you're there. But given that I've already killed uh, all my foes in this area, that is not such a problem. Okay, so where am I actually trying to go? A little bit southeast of here yet. East, south, east. Well, I do not see the cave that I am going to, but maybe it's this way. Because there's a path here. How am I doing on weight? 363 out of 475. Okay, I can't carry a lot more. Oh. I hate those rats. It's one of those instinctual hates, like, uh, like spiders or libertarians or or snakes. Am I heading the right way? So I really want to be a little bit east of Hmm. Well that's a castle, but I don't think it's the castle I wanna be at. get up to that castle if I want to be there. Oh, bad time to put that away. I heard... Ah, shoot. My nemesis. A bear. Duck down. And Juzargo is going to face the bear for me. Let's hope that my other arch nemesis, another bear, is not going to show up. Ah, sweet. And I'm using Falmer arrows? Okay, well, that's not ideal. This looks like it's the path up to uh, up to this castle-y thing, but I don't think this is actually where the Dungard are. There's a poorly marked um, poorly marked cave entrance somewhere. Oh, but these are a bunch of religious zealots. You're bloated with disease. The vigilant of Stendar can help as long as. You Dendar's light purify you of your evil. He is... We bring his compassion where not... Yes. We're quartered in the Hall of the Vigilant. Keeper Carset and any other abomination. But the Daedra are the worst. Okay. Every palace disregard for our lives is abhorrent. The eyes of the so they are hanging out here. The mercy of... Speak to a vigilant of Stendhal. Cavort with any data. We will hunt you down. Okay, I wonder if you will mind if I. Oh, well. I don't want to risk it. Wherever the Daedra hide, the vigil of Stendhal will cast them into war. So, I guess this is definitely not where where we would go to make it to the Dongard cave south and east it's somewhere around here though there's a uh, there's a cave that will take me there and this seems like it might be the right direction it is southeast Maybe it's up there. Cut there's blood. More blood. A lot of blood. Okay.
Blood is not a great sign. It's an indicator of places where I'm likely to want to go. Oh, it's a new kind of troll. I hope that... Oh, and this guy is actually making short work of me if I miss a block. But if I'm careful, I guess I can survive. Okay. So, that did not work out as well as I hoped, but it worked out better than it uh, could have. Where did Jazargo go? Oh, he's hanging back. Huh? Okay, Jazargo, you don't have to help me. And I wonder if where I'm going might be up this hill. It's kind of a steep hill. I hope I can walk it. Um, or jump it. A lot of the time, if you want to make your way up something that's a little bit too steep, just keep on moving back and forth against it and hop as much as you can while pressing forward. And you can scale things that are hard to scale. It's no guarantee that, that there's going to be a little hop. Jazargo, uh, don't... At least I assume that's Jazargo. Yeah, it's Jazargo. He's getting in the way. Okay, hop, hop, hop. Come on, let me up. Oh, I cannot go that way. Great. So where is the entrance to this? Uh... Wait, it's west? Okay, west and a little bit south. West... Oh, that is... irritating. Shoot. Because I remember that you have to go through a cave to reach the uh, the Dawnguard, but the cave doesn't seem to be super well marked on my map. Let's see. <clears throat> and apparently I'm just about on top of it. There is... that's north and west, northwest. And I do not see anything on the mini-map. I think I hear another bear. Somewhere nearby. And here is a burned house. And the bear is getting closer. A burned house that happens to have a chest in it. That's my kind of burned house. And burnt corpses with gold. Oh, and a scroll of Conjure Fire Atronach. Well, we can kind of guess what happened here, then. The uh, idiot attempted to summon a fire atronach and was not careful enough. Okay. Let's take out this bear while he doesn't see us. Or at least get this party started. And it looks like Jazargo is... 
going to oh wow okay Jizargo I am impressed now this might be the effect of the mod that I installed that causes uh, scrolls to uh, or spells to uh, to scale in effectiveness oh, lost tongue overlook well that's not actually where we want to go I don't think but oh hey guys what are you up to? I fought worse than you. What? You're not gonna shoot me, are you? you no, you're gonna fight the wildlife. Okay, well, if that's your thing. So I guess I am just gonna get one of these places on my uh, quest marker and then go back to looking for that cave. I know it's just around here somewhere, but the more uh, map locations that I've memorized, the easier it'll be to move around here. Huh, looks like this is a wagon that has seen better days, as in it got burned for some reason. Okay, so it is worth noting that there are traps that use soul gems to, pyre, uh, to power spells that power spells that will hurt you if you get close, and you will eventually learn to spot them because they will be a soul gem that's being held up on one of those pedestal-looking things, and it will zap you or burn you if you get too close. Okay. So this is... Oh, a, a dragon. Well, okay. I was not exactly looking for a dragon fight, but... I'm ready to give it a go. Jizargo might not be uh, as bad of a companion as I thought. He really seems to be doing a lot of damage despite still using that damnable Sparks spell uh, too much. Okay, not the most useful shout, but... Still, it's a shout, and I can add it to my library of shouts that I know. Okay, so it's east and a little bit south. Hopefully I'll have some luck finding the damn place. Uh, ooh. And this guy's still fighting the local wildlife. Oh, and there are some... You should grab the local wildlife. You shouldn't fight it. Except he's going for meat and I'm going for alchemy ingredients. Whoa! Where is... oh, there's the bear. This bear will... Come and get me if I don't get it first. Unfortunately. Well, I'm gonna soul trap you then. 
Let's take the shield. Okay, so it looks like if I'm careful now, I'm now tough enough to beat bears. I would not want to try and take out two bears at the same time, but it is a, a happy accomplishment to be able to take out one bear at a time. Okay, so we're still looking for that cave. And we know it's east of here and, and south of that um, temple to Stendar. And I don't know where Jazargo went, but I guess he'll be along at some point. Could get some leeks and potatoes and stuff if we wanted to. Now, usually they're pretty good at having paths leading to the interesting places in the game. I'm not sure if I can count on that, particularly given that this place is, if I remember right, supposed to be south of the... Uh, supposed to be south of the Temple to Stendar. I'm hanging a little bit northeast now, so... At some point I'm going to have to turn right. So this is the Temple to Stendar, and to be southeast of here. <clears throat> and I was under the impression that the place is also not high up in the mountains. I might be misremembering there. Sargo, are you anywhere nearby? No. Oh, okay, you're back there. So I thought it was on ground level, but maybe I'm misremembering. Thing is, I don't think that there's a way to get... to get to the other side of these uh, mountains. I tried jumping uh, up the mountain. So I guess I'll just keep on heading east and hopefully at some point I'll find uh, find the entrance to the cave. <coughs> so there are some parts in the game where I'm not seeing anything on the compass. There are some parts in the game where the map seriously fails you. And this might be one of those times. Oh yeah, this is a pathway to one of the other areas of Skyrim. Um, but I'm, I want the other areas of Tamriel. But those were covered in other games and they're not covered in this game, so you're not allowed to walk through that gate. Which I suppose is a, at least a little bit less ludicrous than um, than completely surrounding a map with high mountains that prevent you from getting out. I hear something. What's going on? Okay. There's an orc coming at me. Pretty effective. So let's uh, heal back up and Jazargo killed the orc for me. And we can grab everything that is particularly weight cost efficient from him. <coughs> and there's a horse here that belongs to someone because. If I click on him, it says that I would be stealing. Where is this cave? Guess we'll keep following this uh, this path. 
Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I saw it on the mini map. So it's almost due north of here. Okay. <clears throat> That's looking promising then. Is this? Okay, this is the cave. Yeah, inadequate signage. Seriously inadequate signage. So that cave just took us directly to this um, valley. <clears throat> neat, neat looking valley it is. Looks like there's somebody up ahead with a torch. We're not going to bother him. Because there are some alchemy ingredients, I mean wildlife, to capture. When you think hero, you think ripping the uh, wings off of a moth. Well, maybe some people think that. Okay, so this is Fort Dongard. <coughs> and these guys are vampire hunters. Hey, what is up? What's going on? Vampires, the Dawn Guard, all of it. I wanted to help, so here I am. Good for you. Wow, that is a pretty spiffy looking castle. Probably was pretty expensive to make too. And one empty barrel. Well, they have some potatoes in the barrel. And a salt pile. And there is an orc. Hey, Mr. Orc. You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire of Venice. What do you say? Ha! Huh. Isran's going to like you. He's up the hill in the fort. He'll decide if you're Dawn Guard material. Ha ha ha. Little do they know. I guess this is it. I don't know what you're doing, dude, but whatever. Here to join the Dawn Guard. Modeling is is really pretty good. So the modeling could be a little bit better, but it's these. Wow, he really. Uh, some cave the vigilants were poking around in. He likes his guest enough that uh, he interrupted his conversation just to be introduced to me. Tell her about what was it? Dim Hollow. Yes, that's it. Dim Hollow Crypt. Brother Adelwald was sure it held some long-lost vampire artifact of some kind. 
We didn't listen to him any more than we did Israel. He was at the hall when it was attacked. That's good enough for me. Go see what the vampires were looking for in this dim hollow crypt. With any luck, they'll still be there. Hey, okay. You should take a crossbow. Good for taking out those fiends before they get close. Feel free to poke around the fort and take what you need. There isn't much yet, but you're welcome to anything you can use. <laughs> it's the least I can do to avenge my father. Fish barrel. So he handed me a crossbow. Crossbows are cousins to bows. They're, um, oh, can I, yes. And they're, uh, they're kind of fun. Um, they reload differently. Um, And some of them ig uh, ignore uh, part of the armor of anything you shoot at, which is kind of helpful, particularly in the later game. Isran found something for you to do, eh? So, that takes care of starting the vampire quest. If I want to, I can go and um, and change companions now, but um, Gisargo is actually being uh, more cooperative than I thought he would be. So what I'm going to do is return to Riften. And I'm going to work on my uh, gear for a while. That and um, making some profit. Because I need enough money to improve, uh, to get more training for some of my skills. Particularly because training gets more expensive as, your, uh, as the relevant skill goes up. So, I can rift in, let's see what we can grab out of these barrels. And actually I wonder if, uh, Okay, the garden hasn't uh, regenerated yet, so I can just say hi to the chickens. Their feet don't seem to be doing a great job at staying above the ground. So they clearly have some chicken talents that most chickens don't have. But they are still good at knocking over rakes and stuff. Rakes that I actually can't pick up. So that actually looks like a rooster, and uh, where was the other... Anyhow. Yeah, I feel pretty bad for my house, Carl. All she, uh, all she does is hang around in my empty house all day. Honor to you. Yeah, apologies, House Carl. Okay, let's grab all the ingredients. And also, let's, let's for now put down all of the, uh, 
all of the crafting supplies and other things that we need to sell. Which should make it easier to um, to do our alchemy. Okay, we're still overburdened. But I guess we uh, we have a lot of a lot of alchemy uh, things. So down we go. And again, we're going to see if we have any alchemy ingredients that we don't know anything about. Briarheart. I don't think I need that for a quest yet. Nightshade and Nernroot are quest components. Okay. So. Again, the, the most useful potions for us are, um, are those that restore health. Let's see, let's try a mountain flower wheat and a rock warbler egg. Cool. That fortifies health as well, which is pretty handy. And those that uh, damage health, because we can code uh, weapons with these. A weakness to poison, it's not an effect that I've really used much but it seems like it could be useful. And weakness to shock, if I am going to keep Jazargo with me, and if he's going to insist on using sparks a lot, then uh, then I suppose it makes sense to uh, making be making poisons like that. Now, this is one of our first high value potions. It's worth 243, and uh, so I can make a few of it, so... And you'll notice that I'm getting lots of experience for making it. That's because the experience that you get for crafting is usually related to the value of, of whatever you're... Uh, of, of whatever you craft. So you can't just spam making a whole bunch of uh, useless things if you expect to get much experience. So the game does provide a lot of incentive for you to keep gathering the um, the difficult, expensive uh, ingredients that will let you make nice potions. So let's see. Resist magic is always useful. Helps when fighting dragons. Same thing with sometimes with resist frost. As I said, I pretty much never use the uh, Regenerate Magicka effects. <clears throat> because uh, you regenerate uh, Magicka so slowly in battle that it, it doesn't have a lot of effect. Plus, you, you probably have better things to worry about when you're in battle than, uh, than futzing with all the, the small details of the potion, uh, of the potions that you could drink. So... I'm 
Nice. And now it looks like we've discovered all we're going to discover for right now, so I'm just concentrating on making valuable potions. And yeah, it's salt and uh, Dwemer oil. They're both reasonably common, so I don't uh, I don't worry too much uh, exhausting them. For other ingredients that are a little bit rarer, I might be a little bit more uh, selective. Uh, let's see. And I think that's probably about enough alchemy for now. So I'm still overburdened. That is okay. Let's head up and drop the ingredients that we didn't use back off in the cabinet. except, of course, for the things that are used in any of the quests that we're uh, working on now. Uh, keep the death spell. And the Nightshade in Nernrit. Okay, so that puts us back under the weight cap. Not far under the weight cap, though. We still are carrying a heck of a lot of stuff. Um, actually, we're not going to make it a lot better. We're actually going to grab everything and then drop back off the uh, stuff that's not going to be useful for any crafting. So, except we are going to, to keep carrying stuff that we might uh, want to sell. So the Dwemer Cogs, we're saving that for a quest. Otherwise, we do have a lot of stuff with us right now. And we're going to just make it worse by grabbing... Honor to you, my uh, thank you. By grabbing any spare stuff that... Oh, I did not mean to grab everything. So that is one of the downsides of um, of the way that inventory management works in the game. Okay. Now put this, this, and this back, and then we're going to drop off. Actually, we're not going to drop off that much. So what we're going to do is actually head out and do smithing improvement to any of the skier uh, that, uh, that we can, and then we're going to head back inside and enchant it. Unfortunately, we are carrying quite a lot of stuff right now, so this is going to be uh, a pretty slow, pretty slow move. One of the guards said he saw a mage appear out of thin air, claimed it was one of those Sijic monks, man in the school of Isaac. <laughs> so, walking, walking, walking. Can admire the sky. This really would be a, an interesting city to live in uh, in real life. And it's far enough south in Skyrim that. Uh, you probably wouldn't get too cold, I imagine. Okay, so I'm using a glass bow, so might as well improve that. Can imp 
improve the Orcish War Axe. Might as well just improve these while we have uh, them open. And for armor, we have a lot of leather. And we have some iron, so. Would be nice to have some um, some more ore column. You've been a good friend to me. Oh. That means something. Hey, dude. Come to see oh, you're come not ready to. to um, not so. The one downside of this town is that it doesn't uh, have a smelter. So if you have um, raw ores and stuff like that, you're not going to have an easy time. Actually, can I train more smithing? Could, it's a bit expensive, but I will do it anyhow. Okay. Let's see, are you ready to... yeah, good. Let's see if I can buy some ore column from him. No, I can't. Oh well, so I guess actually that's all I can do right now. So yeah, there's no smelter, so if you don't have uh, ingots of whatever you need, then you're not going to be able to uh, The thieves guild used to run this city. Now they're nothing but braggarts and bullies, rotting to death down in their rat way. So yeah, if you just have things that you pulled right out of a mine, you're not going to be able to do any improving uh, with them. It's possible that there is a smelter somewhere that I just haven't found. Why? Why there? Is no place safe? Why would the dragon want to decide that some place is safe? That would not really makes sense for them. Okay, back home. We're gonna head back over to our uh, materials chest and drop off... I am your sword and your shield. No, Jazargo right now is my sword and shield. Are my sword is our... Anyhow. Let's drop this stuff off. We don't need all this amethyst. Not that amethyst really weighs anything. Um, actually, we will drop off the dragon stuff. So for right now, we're just going to focus on stuff that we can enchant. Did I... I mean, stuff that we can enchant or stuff that we can use to enchant. Okay, and are we still overburdened? Just a little bit. Just what I love doing when I am carrying too much stuff. Hop, hopping down some stairs and then uh, climbing back up them again. Anyhow. Is there anything to disenchant? Yes. Okay. And, um... As usual, when we have a weapon that we're not going to keep, we're going to put um, Soul Trap on it. Now later on, uh, when, we, when we've when we learned that enchantment, 
there is there are two more enchantments that are potentially worth more and they are banishing which you can use to banish Daedra and they're paralyzed and I think that they're worth more than soul trap um, enchanting can I take any more enchanting No more enchanting that I really care about. And how about smithing? Yes, advanced armors. Good. We won't be able to do glass smithing for a while. But that's okay. Now, crossbow, this does 42. Wait, where's my glass? Glassbow does 40. So for right now, the crossbow is actually a better weapon than the uh, than the glassbow. I'm going to keep both of them around for now and enchant neither of them because I don't want to futz with uh, futz with keeping them charged. Crossbows are also a little bit troublesome in that uh, the ammo for them is not uh, you're not going to find it nearly as often as you will as you'll find uh, arrows. Now for 224 is what I get for fortify destruction. Okay, so it seems like Fortified Destruction is the best uh, deal for these. Do I still not have any good boot? Yeah, for boots all I have is Stamina Regen. Not worth it. So I have a bunch of orcish gear. If I am, uh, as I said, if I'm going to keep Jazargo, I probably should put him into this orcish gear and get it all uh, maged up nicely for him. But I'll have to do that in the next Let's Play because we're running out of time. So, let's save, and I will see you guys in the next Let's Play.